Ready? There is no order. should be about the liberation of the oppressed. Currently, debate requires us to check our bodies and identity at the door and perpetuates what Paulo Freire calls the banking system of education where we compartmentalize and regurgitate topics that are alienated to the existential experience of the student, especially students marked by gender, color, and class. Freire concludes that such a method make us necrophilic where we reduce the oppressor and their experiences to the objects of knowledge, a necrophilic education that loves all that is mechanistic and not critical to its own system. This is why it's easy to follow eh? uh, the oppressed and their real life troubles into our files, much like the way uh, parts of the South Asian culture dismiss uh, and silence the voices of the women. Their predictability and limit claims are part of a larger project to protect this type of social order. The strategies of the oppressed like undocumented immigrants are seen, seen as a threat to the system because they remain unpredictable. If we win, that debate should be about the liberation of the oppressed and more bluntly top topical. John Simon states that we need to change limits, not destroy them, but to make them more enabling and more educational. This is the reason why we capture their Shibli evidence, because we can agree upon a, a topic that is fit for all. Current topics are biased and vain and assume a privilege. Their argument about competitive equity is like a gladiator is bad or it is fair, but it still destroys the culture. If we win, if the education they provide is destructive, then you vote affirmative. And then, look, they have plenty of ground. They can debate us about conscious inflation, that it is not important. They can talk about public pirate dichotomy. They can say focusing on intersectionality is good. They can have a counter advocacy. They can make methodological arguments. They can say performance is bad. They can say narratives are bad. They can uh, they can debate us on their or they can argue for their uh, own framework. Uh, uh, own framework. Look, our counter interpretation is that sovereignty resides with the people and not the state. We believe that the USSC is not nine people but a symbol of power that we all have a role in creating. Hence, we overrule or nullify the Morrison decision by exchanging economies of power by bringing the narratives in the center. Foucault says that that is the more uh, that is the most practical and uh, 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 that deals with the real lives and real uh, world issues of people. Our definition is better because it forces us to engage in practice where we use theory and agency to uh, theory and agency to change the society. If we win our interpretation of economies of power, we don't have to do the uh, to, to enact the civil uh, remedies. Look, we do not take a stance uh, on whether the state is good or bad, and the state uh, can't solve the one easier. Our impact is individual consciousness raising and empowerment through sharing narratives and experiences. The only impact is in-round education. We in this room learn what happened to Yamuna and Dara and how they empowered themselves. This is uh, what our Kim discussion is in the one easy. This is especially valuable information for Puja and I, since we may well find ourselves in arranged, mar arranged marriages. We need to learn what might happen and how to empower ourselves. People with a different social location need to hear the stories and understand the unique issues of this individual space to appreciate the complexities of our problems and to realize the things that we can do to empower ourselves without ever going to the state. For example, Dara could not just turn to the state because of her citizenship status and people across the room go on to become policy makers and get to make laws about us someday. We want them to have this consciousness raised about specific intersectional oppression we face and not just swift them all into one size fits all state action. This can not be accessed over with state good arguments. This is not a debate about state action versus individual action. It's about the type of education we can get if we make arguments, uh, 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 arguments through cards about the state as opposed to making arguments, um, uh, uh, as opposed to making arguments with narratives. In other words, if the one AC impact is exclusively in round education, uh, cards about what state action might uh, be good or bad is irrelevant. Irrelevant. It's not like uh, there is an educational level and a policy level to the affirmative we have. Uh, we, we, we we don't we we don't have a, a specific plan. We say we uh, ad, we have an advocacy statement. We take no act. Uh, we take no no action. There is nothing to, to counter plan the question of what action uh, could stop domestic violence is irrelevant to the one AC. The net benefit to our type of education is that we all could be victims of domestic violence or know someone who is hearing this narrative.
forward helps us appreciate why victims might not come forward and what and they can do instead and what we can look for as a collective to help our friends. This education only benefits a tiny percentage of people who will go on to become policymakers. Even if they win edu education about the state is good, they beg the question of good for who, not not for us since, we, um, since we're never go going to be in the office. This is the same reason why their suicide debate also got to predictability because if we were to do this on the negative, they would still have to research us on that. And the suicide assumes uh, the suicide forces us to assimilate uh, and become role players. Like Antonio talks about how persons who over identify with their positions and engage in gross fabrication to a day, uh, achievement are so thoroughly observed in stimulating effective role players, but they have nothing, uh, they have trouble being anything but the actors. The, 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 the role uh, has actually become the character, uh, the, the highly subjectified social self and stimulators suffer devastating inauthenticity freer. And Bell Hooks book explains that how role playing goes in antithesis to our social location, where it makes us develop a, self -lo a, self a low self esteem and conformity and allows British people to take a hold of education and political system. This is the reason why our, pr our, our framework of breaking the silence is a prerequisite uh, into engaging the politics that they uh, engaging in the politics that they talk about that unless and until we address those issues and put the narratives in the center we cannot uh, we cannot have a, a debate that involves all the uh, all the groups that are uh, marginalized also look um um, also, um, their uh, their rich evidence uh, tell, uh, doesn't tell you how consciousness raising is not an action. This is the reason why uh, uh, why agency important and what us four debaters could do in this debate round is important because we all know that the, that nothing is going to change outside of this round. All we can change is the minds of the people in this room, and that's uh, the the only thing that matters. There they talk about emotional hijacking, but it proves that there is only one way of debating. This creates the polarized others and excludes uh, people. Uh, uh, excludes people people uh, outside from it, just like their framework argument uh, that excludes uh, people who are undocumented and then people who are uh, gays and lesbian who do not find that empowerment within the state. Also, Alcoff talks about how bodily experience is key and identities are inevitable and uh, prescribed on our bodies and we need to use our bodies as a way of our agency to change the way uh, to change the way knowledge functions. Their determining evidence assumes that we create suffering. We should just celebrate the way a woman get out of the, uh, the relationship. That is what our affirmative is about, empowering the woman who got out of their relationships and joined the South Asian organization. There's so many evidence uh, 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 talks about a uh, uh, cultural strategy. We look, we don't, this doesn't link to us because we don't take a stance on whether they stay being good or bad, but we rather uh, talk about what education we can create. In the same sense, Freer doesn't say that, uh, that, that we should uh, uh, that we should exclude animals. Rather, he talks about how animals are being in themselves. Uh, he talks about how human is not only one to treat the only, uh, only uh, their action, but their very self is the opposite object of the reflection, the capacity to distinguish them from animals which are unable to separate themselves from the activity and thus uh, unable to reflect upon animals can neither, uh, and also animals can neither set objectives or transformation. They are uh, fundamentally, they are beings in themselves. This uh, argument links back to their framework because they create a solution um, for the oppressor and the uh, oppressor be, uh, uh, for the uh, oppressor and the oppressor becomes the leader of their uh, revolution. Their race and pedagogy card only uh, is uh, the only, uh, only a uh, true uh, when we deny our authentic agency, which means that they double turn themselves by saying that we uh, that all uh, their agency matters, but uh, under their framework, agency always uh, is always uh, excluded. Also. And they, uh, they assume that we uh, we are an act uh, we, that we are uh, we are an activist, but we we're, but we're not an uh, activist. The only point is that that we need to uh, talk about our uh, narratives in this round, and we are conscious raising for personal empowerment. The point is not that we start a movement or go on to change. Uh, this is an in round impact that we get better education. Seven people in this room hear narratives and go and change the particular uh, situation. Their cards uh, only assume that this is true. Uh, if we if we defend a state level action, or if we don't defend a state level level action. They assume that we're going to go out and spark a movement, but that is not we claim. We can talk about uh, creating education within this uh, within this room and uh, uh, within this room. Anything else? Did you read this? Oh, also, um, Zizek, uh, Zizek uh, doesn't understand the oppression of women. There are authors that they talk about creates a politics of domination. Um, uh, Robinson and Tormi talks about how opponents of imperialist war and racism will find no alternative in Zizek. While they may oppose the acts of existing state, his only preferred institutions look remarkably similar. He offers a new militarism. He's an absolute Zizek, never suspends the universal, remains the operative at the very heart of their own theory. And they assume that it creates, uh, that they assume that everybody finds that this, uh, finds it within this universalist notion.
Uh, on the, like, you talked about how we have plenty of ground, how we could say things like uh, narrative's bad, we could say things like uh, public-private good. Uh, if we win that the liberation of the oppressed, the debate should not be about that. Does that mean we win? If you win, that debate is not about the liberation of the oppressed? Or should not be. I mean, if, win that argument. I mean, if you win that argument as to why you know it shouldn't be, then sure. Then we would win, correct? Not that just because you go up in your next speech and say, oh, debate is not about the liberation. No, not, of the not whether it is, around, but, but whether it should be. I mean, if you make a compelling argument and judges get persuaded, I mean... You know, well, I mean, that's just what you said was on the ground, so I mean, I was just wondering if... No, I mean, I didn't say that you go up and say debate is not about liberation. Of the, I'm just saying that there are plenty of grounds, like, you know, a lot of people can come up here, like, if, right, you, I mean, put, if you put Butler and, you know... Okay. Um, uh, in this so room, they let's, can... let's talk about this uh, narrative's bad argument. Your argument is that we can say narrative's bad. Uh, if we win that narratives are bad, does that mean that we win again? I mean, it's like the same question. Is, I mean, I mean, you have I guess... to win as to why narrative doesn't create this type of education or consciousness raising that we talk about. Why okay. is your way and of debating a better way to the conscious raise than okay. I guess you can win uh, Why is this consciousness raising good? Because it allows us to understand, um, you know, intersections and complexities within other people's life and the things that they go through specifically. When we talk about our marriages, so uh, we and understand, like, and the, where does that help us? That's just like, just like us recognizing that, like. There are arranged marriages, and it, that those are bad. Is that what it's, is good, it's not or that, is it? That it's, see, you simplify this like you simplify this way too much. I mean, there are so many complexities that women face in their everyday lives. You know, we we end up debating about you know role playing and what you know the, the right. Supreme Court should do, but rather we say that we need to uh, we need to address our agencies, <coughs> what well, us right. in this I, I don't debate room for I, debaters. I just don't understand do what this conscious raising does and why like creates, I mean if we understand we don't that, say that it creates education it creates education but why is this good I mean why is this good within this round yeah because it creates education about about people like people who have a different social location than right, I mean, but what are we going to do with it allows us you to engage with them better creates a better world we will say that creates a better form of politics in a sense okay that's fine uh, let's talk about this uh, your argument that like you overrule Morrison, your uh, Foucault evidence, right? Yes. I uh, does your Foucault evidence like does that indicate overrule in the sense of like what sort of overrule? Like he talked about exchanging economies of power. You want to see that? Yeah. Can I see it? Can I see it? Yeah. Thanks. 